Hi guys, this is Pri. Welcome to our channel IELTS with Pri and Aman at IELTS Success Academy. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing our channel and make sure to hit the like button and also share it with your friends. So in this video, we will be doing a cue card that was recently asked in the exams. So I had scored band 9 in my speaking test and I wanted to share some secrets with all of you so that you can achieve the same band score in your exam. So let's look at the topic. Describe a drawing or painting that you like. You should say, when you first saw this painting, what this painting is about, who drew or painted it and explain why you like this drawing or painting so as you all can see there are four questions attached to this cue card and we need to make sure that all of these four questions are answered within the two minutes that we are given to speak so before we jump on to a sample answer that i have created for you all let's first just brainstorm a few ideas together so when you get a question like this you can talk about any painting that is there maybe in your house or maybe in any of your relatives or friends house that you have seen and you particularly like it or maybe about something that you have seen at an exhibition or maybe online if you have seen at an art gallery or something of that sort so you can use any of these ideas for a question like this so these are some of the ideas that i just came up with while i was reading the question if you do have any other ideas please do share in the comment box below also, I have posted a lot of videos about other cue cards which are coming up in the exams or they were like asked to some of my students. So you can also check those out. Alright, so now let's look at a sample answer that I have created for you all. Art forms an essential part of our culture as it allows us to have a deeper understanding of our emotions, increases our self-awareness as well as allows us to be open to new ideas and experiences. And today, I would like to speak about a painting named Drishya that I really admire. So as you all can see, instead of jumping directly to the first question, we have given the examiner a little bit of an introduction as well as clearly communicating to the examiner what we are going to speak about today by using the phrase I would like to talk about. So emotions means feelings, self-awareness means knowing about yourself, and admire is another synonym for like. So instead of repeating the word that was already in the question, we used a better and a different word. Alright, so let's continue. Moreover, I first saw this painting at an art exhibition organized and held at one of the schools for physically and mentally challenged students in my locality. Additionally, the painting depicted the rising of sun amidst mountain ranges a river stream flowing down the hills and featured a small thatch hut situated at the banks of the stream with perfect blend of hues of blue, orange and yellow making the entire scenery quite picturesque and attractive as well as providing it a new perspective. So we have given a very thorough and relevant elaboration for the second question which was what this painting is about. So physically and mentally challenged people are those people who are handicapped or those who are disabled. So it is a better way of addressing those kind of people by saying that they are physically and mentally challenged. Amidst means between, depicted means to showcase or to portray, thatch means straw like the mud huts that are made up of straw and thatch. Blend is mixture, use means colors or shades picturesque means beautiful and new perspective means a new direction or a new meaning so we have used a lot of synonyms and a lot of good adjectives here it is a good idea to just pause the video for once and write down all the meanings of the word that i just said so that next time when you are practicing speaking you can use it in your conversation as well all right so let's continue furthermore the painting was made using oil paints on a canvas by a student in grade 8 giving it a three-dimensional effect and it made the images look real like. So we have answered the first three questions. Now the last question which is explain why you like this drawing or painting still remains. So let's answer that. Finally, 
I admired the artwork as the vibrant shades and elegant layout not just provided peace and serenity but at the same time filled me up with positivity rejuvenated and refreshed my mind as well as fostered emotional awareness to a great extent all of which compelled me to purchase the painting in the end so vibrant means bright or colorful elegant again is a better word for saying beautiful serenity means calm and fostered emotional awareness means to bring about or to evoke compelled means to force so you can add all of these words to your vocabulary list as well and these will all increase our band scores for the lexical resources part later on also as you all can see we used a lot of connectors here as well like moreover however although finally and all these will increase our band scores for the coherence and cohesion part later on as well as for our fluency and pronunciation which are the other two criteria on which you are marked upon we made sure that we were not taking any kind of pauses in between and we also made sure that our speech was clear at all times we did not do any kind of um uh, or any kind of repetitions in between so all these will also increase our bands for our fluency and pronunciation part thank you for your time everyone if you did like this video please make sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel till then take care and see you soon bye bye